um, you might have seen me in two days ago in Kubernetes meetups. Um, I was saying the same thing, but if you are not, please stay, okay? Because after this, I will ask you guys and girls a few questions and will give you some swag, okay? I got approval from the, the organizer, so we're going to give you something, so just stay, right? And try to learn something a bit, how actually Kubernetes uh, Gateway API and Ingress can help you in your platform delivery, all right? Okay, a little bit on myself. I won't spend too much time. Robin, a sales engineer based in Singapore in Kong. So previously, I'm like everyone like you, right? I started working in software, uh, software engineering, then DevOps, and then you do everything, right? You work in startup especially. So happy to be here and invited for the talk. And, and the key thing that I want to give uh, everyone is actually how this gateway API can help you in terms of your Kubernetes deployment, all right? So... Some agenda, I'll just give some recap, some technical overview, some demo if the network don't die. Actually, it's my phone, I tethered so I better take out, right? Because the Wi-Fi here is not very nice. Okay, and the last part, Q&A, quizzes, uh, around three questions, you can answer my question, my colleague sitting there will give you a pin, and then come, after that, you'll be dealing with a swag from Kong, okay? So this is something we want to share to the, to the community here. All right, so uh, recap, Kubernetes Ingress Controller, so... Um, what is it? I think there's uh, so many talks in the past few days. Uh, you, if you deploy something, EKA, EKS, you probably heard of it, or you might have used it, and you might not know, or your platform engineer has already provided for you, right? So what is Ingress controller in the Kubernetes clusters? Yeah, Ingress, okay, um, the best way that I can say is at your front door, where before I come out, I need to go to the booth and register, right? So Ingress controller is kind of the front door to check in all the incoming requests to your clusters to, before they consume the service and then do the necessary routing, right? So it's something like a load balance, so you talk about it. But to leave in term, it's just a front door to see, okay, Robin, you should go lecture hall 2.1. You shouldn't go 2.2, that's not your speaking sort. Okay, okay. so that's how, how it actually works in, in, in the Kubernetes world. Not much differences, yeah. Okay, that's how we typically deploy all this ingress controller to, to, um, consume, uh, to direct all this traffic when they come into our cluster, okay? Very simple, huh? So uh, Kong itself, um, uh, we have our Kong ingress controller. So um, I, th I think if you deploy, you have been using some of our other ingress controller like Nginx, right? And, 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 and some others, right? So, so we have our own implementation. Uh, basically the same thing, okay? Just that we add on with some of our Kong features, like some of the gateway, API gateway feature that I don't want to talk too much about, right? I want to keep it a bit more uh, generic open source today. So, so that's where our ingress controller works, where you come in, then do the redirections, as I try, and also enhance with some of our plugins, API authentications, uh, all of all this, right? So this one I won't go in much into detail. Okay. So, so why why we want to change the ingress? Right? We are creating ingress object easily, creating service. Why we want to do that? Why this gateway API was introduced? If you went to the KubeCon like one two years back, why was it introduced as an experimental right now? Okay. Um. So in currently ingress support all this path matching, host matching, easy, right? TLS routing, load balancer implementation, you create an EKS and get an ALB up. Simple. Okay. But then again, we realized that we need a bit more advanced usage of our gateway APIs. Um, that, sorry, advanced use cases that the ingress doesn't support. Okay. That's where gateway API come into the picture, right? You can do here header based uh, matching, header manipulation, traffic splitting example, 50-50% new service come out, which I'll demo later. How can you ensure that only 50% of your incoming traffic go to the newer service? How can you do that using uh, that kind of routing, okay? The ingress actually don't do that, okay? So that's why Gateway API come to the picture to do that kind of complex, uh, a bit more advanced use cases. Okay, there's some other extension, like other routing protocol, GRPC, TALS, okay? Okay, so what I said, you try to read a bit because I'll ask you a question later, okay? So other routing protocol like GRPC, I emphasize again, uh, and also custom resource definition for other backends like proprietary protocol. That's, that's a possibility that it, actually this gateway API I want to uh, achieve. All right, so quick example, right? I think it's better to illustrate with some, uh, some uh, not cartoons, uh, some pictures and some words, okay? So, so we have a company, we have uh, usually Alice Box Cairo, uh, very, very typical security 101, right? So, so um, I mean, a lot of you are actually doing all these three things. Uh, you create a infra, you create a cluster, all the Kubernetes admin and application developer. So I think you just start, especially do everything. So, so, so just think of it, there are three, 3%. Three What's your role in the gateway API implementation? Okay, so gateway API implementation, there's a gateway class. 
Right, so infrastructure provider like Alice, for example, they actually the one that actually create the define the gateway class from the from the uh, from the provider, right? So for example, ACME.io, it could be your Kubernetes uh, apologies, AWS implementation, application load balancer, network load balancer, Azure application gateway, GCP, etc. Right? So or F5, etc. So this is based on vendor specific. Okay, so I'm the one that actually create this for, for my cluster admins. Okay, I can be someone like that. Okay, then we move on to gateway. This is where the platform uh, cluster operator come into place, right? The CKE, CKE Kubernetes Administrator. And then this is where you will define the kind of gateway you want in your cluster. So you have that external gateway for external LB, and then exposed to maybe only port 80 or port 443, depending on your needs, okay? To, to, to receive that kind of traffic. So when you create this, right? If you put in a, maybe a cloud provider like Google Cloud or AWS, you spin up a load balancer coming and then listening to port 80. So uh, that means I only, my traffic can only come into port 80, right? Only, I only can come to that door, right? So that's how it works. Uh. So this gives Bob that kind of cluster operator that flexibility to create external LB, internal LB. Why is it important? Sometimes your cluster need to serve internal external traffic or some kind of specific traffic that certain load balancer need to that can address right. So so this give a more uh, segregations and responsibility on on the kind of uh, setting to that you want, and then the route route is a uh, I think the I think some something that resonate with a lot more of you if you are working with Dev right. Like when you create a service your microservices you deploy your CI CD you want to create your Helm file and then create a Kubernetes management that's where you come to a place right. How do you want to expose your services, right? Like matching create a path so that external people can use. So all this. It's where, where it comes to place. Okay, it's not very uh, different from how you do an ingress object, okay, but you can see that there's HTTP route, and just like I mentioned, another route, gRPC route, blah, blah, blah. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. Okay? So so I think the question is uh, how, how it helps, right? I think uh, existing API, it's like the ingress already covered uh, simple use cases, right? But I think for, from what the school of thought is actually give API try with things like the day two operation when you want to do upgrades and management of the uh, the cluster, right? So how it helps. So consistency, like the infra provider, like like uh, Alice, right? They can keep their gateway kind class of manifest consistent. Maybe only the vendor they change. Maybe from AKS to EK, uh, AWS to Azure or SH or by while there's also allowed them to have a fixed set of parameter reference here. Okay, so parameter reference can be things like uh, I just go a bit networking your subnet mask, your uh, internet IP, or this you can define it consistently across different gateway classes. Okay, so this give them a bit more uh, control on how they can reuse this kind of gateway classes uh, templates. Okay, then uh, if I'm a bot, I want to upgrade to my uh, new load balancer. Maybe because the like for example AWS classic load balancer, I want to change to network load balancer, right? I can typically just change the gateway. Um, the gateway class implementation that I actually fixed here already, right? So I actually fix here, then I can just change the gateway class name through there. So all my ports, all these, I see the ports 80, listening port 80, port 443, what's I don't need to change. I just need to change the naming of the gateway that I previously updated, okay? And so you can see that that flexibility you can do, and then you don't have to recreate your, what, Nginx or, or Kong or what, or re, re, re install the benefits, everything. You don't have to do that anymore. Right. Then the last thing I think is very uh, beneficial for developers, right? Especially when you do the kind of blue green deployment. Very simple thing. You have your new service version two. You want to only let ten percent of your of your internal employees to 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 access, right? You can just put weightage for like one. Okay, ten percent. So every ten percent of that in the traffic will go to the newer service, so they can test. And then when it's all ready, right? Then you slowly toggle to the weight to maybe hundred or something to the new. Acme store canary for the newer service. So you can do that easily using this gateway API. Okay. So, so this is not proprietary by Kong, right? This is what actually gateway API can, can actually achieve when whichever ingress controller implementation you do if they support this. Okay. HTTP route is an open standard. I just emphasize that. Huh? Okay. So some concept before I go for a demo, right? I, I don't know time check. I talk a lot. Okay. So I think this is this is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, gateway class, gateways, HTTP route. I think this I mentioned already, so I don't want to regurgitate. La. Okay, this one I also mentioned already. So, yeah, just, just read the routes, okay? HTTP, TCP, UTP, TR, in case I ask you a question. Okay, <laughs> this you just have to remember this. Okay? All right, uh, I'll do a quick demo on this. Um, basically, I'll install a gateway. I'll do a splitting into two services, right? And then 
and then that's it. Okay, let me do a quick demo of that. I think I don't stand better. All right. So see my VS code, right? Uh, I got the mouse here. It's it's working. Okay. So see my VS code. Actually, I do. I will share this the slide. So this is my uh, sample re uh, demo repo, right? So uh, let me just show you a quick one. So what I did is I uh, install gateway. Okay. This is quite standard. Uh, just install gateway and then the gateway class. And then I have two deployment, two service, one HTTP and watch HTTP. Okay, I already installed already. And then uh, and then next I will actually uh, create a HTTP route. And what I do is I will uh, do a toggle 50-50. So you see 50% echo and 50% HTTP. Okay, so I could do a quick demo on that. So there's two service here, and now I'm applying the route. Okay, the route is applied already. Now let me try to consume the service. Okay, uh, I'm very lazy, so I will copy and paste my command. Yeah, I think developer are all like that. Oh, okay, question one. I want to ask question already. I want to ask question already, ah. Huh? Why my request is not found? You are sharp enough? Why my request is not found? <laughs> want, want to try? Yes, please. See, he's listening. Turku, can you help me? <laughs> yes, you are right. I didn't put a header, okay? This is very ingress related, okay? Great job, great job, you are listening. Okay, let me, let's see now. So you see that my header, I look, I'm expecting person and then Robin so that I can get. Uh. Okay. So see, the first one is echo. I put another one, HTTP. You see the toggle? It's the same route, same host. Okay. So it's sometimes 50 50. So you can see the, the magic of this using a basic HTTP route uh, um, uh, toggling. It's just this, 50-50. So, app developer, easy for you, right? You don't have to think of writing logic of your code. No, we direct this. All this is Kubernetes, open standard. You can do that easily. All right, so this is a very quick demo. Okay, okay. so, um, yeah, this is what I just showed, so I won't say too much. And additional route support, remember this, TCP, gRPC, UDP, uh, so remember. And uh, this is uh, how you can actually enable the gateway API using Kong. Okay, I'm not sure about other implementation, but uh, the slide I'll share to the uh, organizer, so you, I think you can download. So all this information are there. So basically, this gateway API in Kong is still in experimental. You need to enable the feature gate. So so you have to enable and to use it. Lah. And, and uh, see if you got any feedback and send to the Kubernetes user group, not, not to me, <laughs> which Kong is sitting inside as part of the committee to actually do that. Okay, quiz. Ready? First one, huh? Can I do traffic splitting in Gateway API? Yes, our our friend from API 6. Give him, yes, he know it. Okay, you cannot answer the next question already. Give chance to other people. Huh? Okay? I think your, your implementation so can do. I think you're still in beta. Or I didn't really see. Okay? So, name one Kubernetes ingress controller implementation that support Gateway API, which I've been talking for the past 15 to 20 minutes. Organizer, you can, can you show you know? okay, what I mean, who, 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 where you come from? Well, yeah, open up your, uh, raise your hand, whoever said. Okay, okay, this gentleman. Uh, give him, uh, give him, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. Kong is one of the many uh, ingress control implementation. I think API 6 do that in also and also uh, Nginx. So, so this, this is just a way to support on that. Okay, last question. Is it possible to support gRPC route? Raise your hand, uh, gentlemen. Yes, bro. Hey, 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 yes, yes, you're right. Correct. So 
typically you do Kubernetes ingress is always HTTP route, right? Then and also maybe some some flavor do TCP pass through, but eventually want to support more modern protocol routing like gRPC, etc. So that you can support your new use cases. Okay. So uh, and this is a quick okay. This quick uh, promo code for our education. Uh, you can take a picture. So if you happen to be using Kong, you want to upskill. Please use this promo code to get some hundred percent off to uh, to um, to to offset your your certification uh, because this is actually actually you have a projector and you do the test like your CKA AWS right so it's a proper certification and then we still have our education that can go up and sign up for free um, maybe I send in a tag or something education at Kong or something that they can actually sign up your self based learning you can do that free of charge also for the one on one courses. All right then. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your time for staying and hope you learned something. And thank you for inviting me for to to the talk. Happy to hear that. Any questions? I, I'm done asking. So any question for me? <laughs> no question. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, ask question also got got swag, you know. So this easy right? easy thing. But don't ask me personal question. Uh, that one no swag. Sorry. <laughs> Where I come from, Singapore. Yeah, that's very. <laughs> yeah. Any questions um, on? Okay, no, yeah, like how can ingress control help? I mean, not just Kong, right? It can be Kubernetes, which I, I know a fair bit. AWS. Okay, no questions? Yeah. I don't think so. So, which means address a separate thing. So, which match is. Uh, is address uh, explosion of microservices. So imagine you have thousand services and you want to do everything do a con up, down, up, down. That would be a spaghetti architecture. No, I don't think so. It might address that like, you have small microservices a few, but if you talk about a lot of microservices, like more than 100, and you want to manage that kind of interconnectivity, then a gateway is definitely not the even gateway API or any API gateway is not the right solution. Okay, that, that, that's, that's my take. You can do that, but um, it would be a more there's a lot of complex routing you need, need to actually adhere to. But then again, service mesh capability do overlap with some of the gateway API. Like this kind of gRPC route, using Envoy, right? Automated TLS, all this, right? So, so it, it really depends on the UK, but no, I don't think so. And, and, and just to highlight that, actually, gateway API is not replacing your current way of ingress API, okay? No plan to replace it. Both address different things, yeah, you see. Uh, so they say cannot replace. They see God is saying that. <laughs> okay, so 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 no ah, you still use your ingress. Eh? You won't you won't die. Okay, your HTTP ingress you are using well. Continue to use it. Okay, no need to rush to use gateway API. <laughs> okay, just give you a bit more favor on that. All right. So whoever got a pin, please go to my colleague and redeem a small T-shirt uh, uh, from Kong, uh, complimentary from Kong. Hope you uh. Take one, uh, take one only, not everything. So just take a t shirt from Frodo with pin. You will see us again. Uh, happy to join any meetup, open source meetup, or fourth Asia next year or something. We can have a lot more talk on that. Thank you very much, guys and girls. Thank you.